Hey everyone, welcome back to Scythe Model Works. Today, we will take a look at the HG Shin Burning Gundam from the Gundam Build Metaverse. Before we get started, if this is the first time you found my channel, I make kit reviews, custom builds, and tutorials. I update as much as I can. Now, let's open this box. Inside the box, there are 4 grey runners, 1 white runner, 2 red runners, 2 orange effect runners, 1 blue effect runner, 1 yellow runner, and 1 dark blue runner. Both orange and blue runners have nice polarizing effects. There is also a sticker sheet for any markings, and of course, the instruction manual. The Shin Burning Gundam is a special promotional kit celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Gundam build series. It takes the iconic Kamiki Burning Gundam's design and upgrades it with Master Gundam's inspiration. The red, white, and blue color scheme is bold and eye-catching, with special clear blue parts that shimmer under the light. Kamiki Sekai is its builder. He's an energetic and hot-blooded character from the anime series Gundam Build Fighters Tri. He's a transfer student who is skilled in martial arts. When introduced to gunpla battles, he dives in with enthusiasm and discovers a hidden depth to the hobby. His fighting style influences his gunpla strategies, and he prefers close quarters combat with his customized models. The Shin Burning Gundam boasts good articulation, allowing for dynamic posing that recreates its furious attacks. The head can swivel and look up and down, letting you capture its aggressive stares. The arms have a wide range of motion, reaching forward and upward for great posing abilities. The arms are double jointed and the hand comes with extra joint for extra flexibility. The torso has good side to side movement and the front bend allows for dynamic action poses. The skirt armors move individually, and there are additional hip articulation tricks for dramatic stances like side splits. The knee bend deeply on double joints, and the ankles offer basic pivoting for stable footing. Don't forget the individually articulated toes for those perfect landings. The centerpiece of this Fury model suit is its flaming sword, the Tachi, and it can be stored in a sheath. The sword can also attach to the back of the Gundam. This iconic weapon features a flaming effect molded in special orange and blue polarized plastic, adding a touch of dynamism to opposes. The kit also includes effect parts to recreate the wing burning attack in different forms, letting you unleash the full fury of the Shin Burning Gundam. But that's not all. 
The Shin Burning Gundam also comes with punching and kicking effect parts, allowing to showcase its close combat prowess. Lastly, the Shin Burning Gundam comes with interchangeable hand parts for a variety of poses. There are a couple of seam lines on the shoulders, backpack, and weapon. While the color separation is excellent, some details like the sensors might benefit from a little paint for a truly show-stopping finish. You also need to fill in the color of the black trims. You will most likely to use the iconic flame and kami stickers, so I recommend using them after painting. Lastly, you have to paint the katana. Here's a height comparison compared to my high-grade RX-78, which is about 13 centimeters tall. Overall, the high-grade Shin Burning Gundam is a fiery celebration of the Gundam build series. With its striking design, dynamic articulation, and fiery effects, I would recommend it to any Gundam fan. This kit is a great choice for both beginners and experienced builders. The construction is straightforward, and the special effects and unique weapon make it a standout addition to any Gundam collection. Huge thanks for Plamod for providing this awesome kit to review. Remember to support your local Canadian hobby businesses. If you enjoyed this review, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what other kits you would like to see reviewed next. And be sure to check out my other content on Instagram, Twitter, and threads. If you'd like to support this channel even further, I have a Patreon page where you can contribute. Your support means the world to me and helps in creating more quality content. No pressure though, I'm just grateful you're here. If you're interested, the link to my Patreon is also in the description below. That is all from me, Scythe here, and I will see you next time.